Hey guys, this is Triforce Plus One, and welcome back to our Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play. We're here on top of Mount Silver once again, and we're about to face our biggest challenge yet. Oh, he farted! Uh, and we get this awesome retro intro uh, as an homage to uh, Gold and Silver and Crystal. So here it is, Pokemon Trainer Red. This is the protagonist from the original Red, Blue, Green in Japan, Yellow, Heart, oh no, uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green games. And he has the highest level Pokemon in the game. Starting with his highest level Pokemon in all of eternity, Pikachu at level 88. So it is going to be a hell of a fight for us. And unfortunately for us, Pikachu has Iron Tail. Uh, similar to Ash's Pikachu in the anime. So this Pokemon Trainer Red is actually very very similar to the anime character that it's based off of. And you know obviously as you can see I'm a little bit in the level for this fight but I'm pretty sure I can pull this off hopefully in one video now that YouTube has a 15 minute time limit now. That's pretty cool and Golden Guru level 76. So in the original games there were no um, uh, weather effects at the top of Mount Silver, but in this game there are weather effects um, Effects including hail now hail will affect every uh, It will damage every Pokemon type except for ice type Pokemon such as Lapras not to mention the fact that I guess in a way um, Yeah, there you see blizzard uh, has a 100% accuracy increase uh, when it's in hail, so that kind of sucks. Uh, in the original Gold, Silver, and Crystal games, Red will not have Lapras, instead will have an Espeon, so be aware of that whole difference right there. And can we take it out? No! Oh, but it's paralyzed, so we can hit it again with another Discharge. Uh, that was actually a lucky shot of mine. Yeah, baby! Ha! Let's play luck in the final battle. Now this technically would be the finale of the let's play. However, there are a few things that we can get post battle. So after this battle, we can actually get a few things. So I might consider this the end of the LP, but uh, I'll make those other things into, uh, I guess, extra videos. Uh, keep battling. And I was going to send out his first of the three starter final things, the three final evolution starter creatures, Blastoise, uh, at level 84, so all of the three starters will be at level 84, starting off with Blastoise, oh no, I'm probably going to have to heal after this, obviously, if the hail doesn't kill me first, but yeah, um, this hail usually will affect the majority of, Ah, oh, sweet, but I'm pretty sure that Red's going to use a full restore on Blastoise. And don't kill me. <sighs> Alright, yeah, I can tell that he's going to use a full restore, so we're going to go ahead and do the same. And... <sighs> Hopefully this, this, this doesn't uh, take more than one video. I do want to, you know, capture the credits as well in this video, so hopefully I can... At least finish this in half a part, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. And anyway, uh, Blastoise has been fully healed, and so have we. Ampharos, Ampharos, however you would like to pronounce it. So go ahead and hit it with uh, Discharge again, while well, if this hits us with Blizzard. But Blastoise, I don't think would be the most. Um, difficult Pokemon, especially for my team, like the combination of Pokemon I have on my team, um, there is one Pokemon that Red has that will probably be very, very, I'd say, difficult, not difficult really, just, um, what's the matter? Um, okay, so he didn't full restore there, so I have a chance to kill it, but... I'm probably going to have to heal afterwards my Ampharos. Although I don't really need my Ampharos until the, later in this match. 
So down goes Blastoise. That's three Pokemon down. None, po no Pokemon down for me. So I still have all six of my Pokemon. You can also negate uh, the effects of hail if you use like a sunny day. If you put up a sunny day or a rain dance or something, that might help. But really, the hail doesn't really affect your team as much as it would um, Red's team. So here is the Pokemon that probably will uh, most people will have the most difficulty with. Uh, Snorlax. So this one's at level 82. It knows a few uh, really good moves, including Blizzard. But hopefully um, we don't get hit by it. Although I don't think it would do very much anyway. But we'll see. So what you want to do with Snorlax if you don't have a fighting type is uh, to use as many physical attacks as you can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Fly here. And uh, Fly did not do very much, unfortunately. Um, Blizzard... Ah! Oh, see, yeah, it didn't do very much either. Because, uh, you know, there's no... Uh, Stab, no special type attack bonus. Or same type attack bonus, sorry. And even though it's super effective on me, it still didn't do very much. I think I have. It's because Lugia is a legendary Pokemon and it genetically has. Oh, I keep using the word genetically. Generically has a very good special defense. So, it's kind of cool stuff. And we can finish it off with Fly here. There's a spit mark on the screen if you can see it. Uh, shouldn't be, shouldn't be, like, you know, oh, there goes Giga Impact, ooh, that's, that's like, that's the hyper beam of the physical attack, and I'm gonna die here, shoot, but since Giga Impact is the physical, uh, form of hyper beam, it's gonna have to take a turn to recharge, and in that time, somebody gonna get hurt real bad, no, I'm kidding, um, just gonna use Gyarados here to um, set up a waterfall. Since it can't heal, Red can't heal on this turn, so let's go ahead and use Waterfall. Boom! Hopefully this does enough damage to take it out. Uh, yeah, baby! Alright, so that's four Pokemon down. We only have two more left. So we're actually doing really, really well on time here. Um, I wouldn't be able to say that if, uh, you know, I had only 10 minutes, but, uh, thank you, YouTube, for extending the time limit. So, his next Pokemon is going to be Venusaur. Now, this is his second starter at the final stage kind of thing. At level 84, we're going to go ahead and use Eruption. Yes! I'm hoping for at least maybe a critical hit or something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. One hit KOs. Yes! And we didn't even need the critical hit because it was so powerfully powerful. The Typhlosion is amazing. Alright, so now we're down to his last Pokemon. So we've got Charizard here. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, Typhlosion out here. So it's the Kanto starter versus the Johto starter. But I'm not going to attack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heal my Golem. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what my strategy to take out Charizard is. Maybe. Air Slash. Not too bad. <clears throat> and... Oh, it actually did quite a bit. <laughs> so uh, now I guess would be a good opportunity to... Well, actually, since Typhlosion's out here, I'll just uh, take out his HP a little bit with Cut. It didn't do very much, but at least. Uh, Air Slash. Ah. I didn't want to waste a turn switching out to Golem, so I'm just going to keep scapegoating with uh, Typhlosion here for a sec. And I have one HP left, so what I'm going to do is use Cuts again. The all-powerful Cut Attack. And finish me off with my 1 HP out of 232. Now I won't have to waste the turn. And Charizard will get damaged some more with the, by the hail. And let's send out Golem. Now I noticed in the original heart uh, in the original Gold and Silver games, Charizard would always spam Flamethrower. 
But in this case, Charizard is going to spam Dragon Pulse against Golem because he knows that Flamethrower is going to do jack to Golem. And now that Charizard's HP was pretty much at half, I'm pretty sure this is done. Yes! And with that, we defeated the most powerful Pokemon trainer in the game. And Red accidentally farted again out of the sheer shock that we defeated him with underleveled Pokemon. <laughs> and that is it. And we are saving the power. I mean, saving the power. We're saving the game, but do not turn off the power. That's what I meant to say. So there we go, it's pretty much the end of the game, or it would be if this was the original gold, silver, and crystal, but uh, actually, there are a few things that we can get post-finale, uh, but I think I'm gonna um, post those as another set of extra videos, or bonus videos, I guess. But that's really all there is to it, to Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, it was lots of fun doing this LP, uh, my very first LP in my entire life. Uh, you know, I want to thank a few people, myself, um, the very, very few people who supported me. I want to spend, send a special shout out to uh, Barkley Lola, uh, who's been following me uh, since God knows when. I, in the very middle, I, I, I know that much. But, uh, I don't know, I just... It feels good to have at least accomplished something, even though not many people are going to see this. Uh, I know, already know that. I've been keeping track of all the videos that I have been making. And uh, the, the, the view consistency is so out of order. It's weird. Like, one part would be like, sort of, like, maybe like 30 or 40 views. The next part would be like 500 something views. And the next one would be like 2 views or something. So it's like, it's really inconsistent, I guess, which is kind of weird to me. Um, but that's because nobody really follows me as of yet, because, you know, the quality of my videos aren't the greatest yet. But I do plan to, uh, you know, get some uh, things, some well-needed things that I need for, uh, for doing a proper Let's Play. But I think as for this one, I think I did a pretty good job for my very first time. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the credits, I guess. I have nothing much to say. All we can do the the common LP thing is by making fun of the uh, Japanese directors and producers and game designers and stuff. Yoshimitsu Inoue, Gaku Zuzai, Osamu. There's a lot of Junes and. Yoshis and uh, Yuri's. Naoko is a very common Japanese name too. And as you can see, we are again meeting up with Lance and his Dragonite, just like in the last time we got the credits. Um, oh, just a little bit a uh, hint, or not a hint, but like a tidbit to, to to know, like if you're training or anything. If you want to fight Red again, you can always just uh, face the Elite Four, and then after beating the Elite Four, he'll show up at the top of Mount Silver again. But I guess for right now, it's the end of my let's play. Thanks for watching guys. This is Triforce Plus One, signing off.